As children, we drew our thoughts as clouds or thought bubbles, more adventurous with our minds, choosing how we would perceive the world. After being in contact with education systems, morphing into full-grown adults, the minds of many begin to flock to boxes. How wide in length and spacious in diameter? How resilient or resistant for the mind to expand? How embracing of adopting an alternative perception before falling down on one's knees to bury heads in the sun? Many whose will pierces through dark clouds to witness stars may remember we are minuscule versions of the earth and beyond. Who says we're not in space, clambering through the earth's grass, scanning horizons for a pathway? What happens when thoughts are converted into smoke, searching for a fire, attracted to the drama, no inkling to live higher? Adamant for grounding, contentment or restless describings of feelings of floating, suspicious sense of danger around the corner, feet firm on astroturf, minds gravitating towards the border. Is it more powerful to visualise your thoughts travelling in spheres rather than the shape of a reflection of a rear view mirror? Straight lines restrict transcending when the path is far from straight but more of a spiral, reteaching us perspectives that are differential, inclusive of the same journey. How big is the box your thoughts float in? How heavy is the bag you carry your boat in? Straight paths lead sailors to the middle of nowhere, struggling to create partings where mud is stuck in horsehair. Do you limit the air that can fill your mind? Expanding its method of analysis, a heart purifying dialysis, stubbornly choosing to look out of one window alone. What good is near the nape when the answer sits closer to the ear? Accepting doom for the day for the front of the house looks grey. There is sunshine and blue skies when swinging through the back door gate. Allow love to come alive in your hearts and minds. Invite cobwebs to drape themselves around the parts of the brain inspired by hate. Welcome the Spider-Man to revisit on a year plan. Ensuring those curtains are closed. No stage succeeding in giving it no show. Untangling the constrictor with a bow. No venom seeking prey near your soul. Far from reptile snakes who only perceive the world through their eyes and the blade of their tongue. Our minds are 3D. We hold a key as to how big or small. After conception, where do thoughts and ideas go? Never allow your environment to restrict your capacity to grow. Not talking monetary, for they are cloaks to cover the dirt on your clothes. Let your mind scan the horizon. Not 180, but a 360-degree angle. Left to right, turn right to left. From the sky to the earth, an incandescent light and meteor on this journey on the greenhouse in space.